Welcome to the Cup of Number Two. I am your host, Echo Pack Well, This is my last TikTok for the moment. So, if you watched my last few videos, um, probably got some people heated, and you probably haven't watched them yet. But if they're posted and you're watching them, thank you for watching. We have um, a lot of issues going on in the world. So I want to talk about another part of my life, not the acting thing. Not the school thing, but cultural, the native thing. I um, want to let everybody know, you know, that there are a lot of native issues that people aren't addressing. You know, and we need to get back to business on that. You know, granted, Modern Warrior was addressing stuff. He's more addressing it now on Instagram versus uh, TikTok. He needs to come back to TikTok and stop playing. And, and and get back into the groove of things, you know. And there are a lot of other incidences going on. There's some black and native issues that are um, needing to be addressed, and we need to address them because you know, um, first and foremost, you can't just go around um, picking and choosing your battles without having consequences. I try not to do that, so. Here's the thing, I'm part native and I'm also part black, so this affects me on both hands. I don't know how this thing started. I really don't. But the uh, black and native war on TikTok needs to come to an end really fucking quickly. As a child growing up, I'm actually probably going to make one more video, so I'll just do this. As a child growing up, being mixed, I never was exposed to a lot of native stuff except for in the summertime with my great-grandmother Ada and her brother John stories and maybe some folklore here or there. And again, I didn't know I was part native until I got to the fifth grade. So, yeah. Now, personally, I have to find somebody to tell me how to get a blood quantum test. I need to have money to get a genealogy test. I need to do all this shit because this is the way the world works. And here's the thing. I'm not trying to reclaim my native heritage for money. Just the ID. You know, whatever comes with being identified as native, I'm okay with that. And if money is involved, I'll take it. God knows I need it. But I'm just trying to reconnect with the part of my life that I never got to be exposed to. And that's why native TikTok is so important to me. Black TikTok is important to me too. Because even at 48, I still have to prove that I'm black. <laughs> I shouldn't have to, but I do, because there are instances where, you know, um, you can talk to black people to get blue in the face, and they'll still tell you, you're not black. You're a half-breed. These little things here need to be addressed. And this war with blacks and indigenous people on TikTok, I would say I'm torn down the middle. Sad part is I kind of know how black people operate, so I'm not in favor of the black part of TikTok as I am the native part of TikTok. And I know everybody's going to see this like, oh, you're a sellout, you suck ass, you're a race traitor. Really? Before you do that, answer this question. Am I really a race traitor when all I wanted to do as a child was just be black and all the black people pretty much told me, go fuck myself? With not those exact words, those exact words, especially from girls, whereas you're never going to be black enough. You're never going to be black enough. You're never going to be black enough. And then in society, when I apply for jobs and I put the word black down because my birth certificate says Negro, which means I'm black, they always ask me if I'm sure. Now, I've had a couple of racist incidents where people who didn't know I was mixed just assumed that I was Mexican, like a couple of school teachers. So am I really a race traitor? Just, just ask yourself. Is he really a race traitor because when he was a kid, all the black girls and half the black guys would tell him, yo, half-breed, you're not really one of us. So, am I? You think I'm a race traitor? Because I'm a truth teller. You know, every story I tell you about how when I was trying to date black girls and they would always tell me I would never be black enough, those black girls was the, was the ones that made me stop wanting to date black girls. That's why I don't date them as a grown man. And if you have a problem with that, that's a you problem, not a me problem. And plus, the only person I really want to date right now, her name is Zeta Zach. Anyway, moving on. Am I a race trader? You think I'm a race trader? Because, you know, 
my family, we've always had this problem. And it's not just me, it's other members of the family that don't have enough black features that get told, we're not black. You should probably be more Mexican. Except for there's just one problem. Our native heritage is Cherokee, not Mexican. Go figure. And Mexicans are native. Don't let anybody tell you they're not. I learned that shit. And I was like, you know, Mexicans got a lot of native features because they're fucking native. Enough said. Thank you for watching. I'm Echo Fake Radio.